Lisa. We have come to uh, an amazing ropeway, except it's dead. The ropeway doesn't work. It isn't, the visitor center is shut. The toilets are shut. I mean, I think you can probably, you can see the steps, you can walk up there, but God knows how long the ropeway is. It's probably bloody miles. It's not the visitor center that we came to before, but it's absolutely brilliant. We should make a movie here one day. Maybe wiped out the visitor centre because that's not there anymore. <laughs> Maybe. But they've put a road in so you can actually drive up here, which is phenomenal. And then look at this. Apparently, it's a mix of, um, well, sulfur dioxide. It doesn't actually smell that bad, does it? But there's lots of signs up saying if you've got a heart problem or asthma, you shouldn't be anywhere near it. But it's not that bad. Look at that. Oh my lord, that is just amazing. Apparently, it cycles through this kind of thing, mud. Sometimes you see red, but sometimes it goes calm and then there's a bright green lake there, which, you know, we can't see today. Beautiful. Information from the Asso Volcano Disaster Prevention Centre. A poisonous volcanic gas flows around the crater. Therefore, we advise you not to visit the crater if you have heart problems or suffer from asthma. They've um, obviously employed someone from England to do the voiceover. So uh, don't go near the crater if you've got asthma or heart problems.